last me the whole week when I make beans I tend to make a lot of them so I've got um, two pounds of white beans here I soaked them for over 24 hours <laughs> and now I am getting ready to season them um, and then I will add in my vegetables I'm gonna let them cook for probably like a good hour before I even add in the vegetables because I want them to get uh, the right texture so I'm gonna cook them pretty long. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of this chili powder. I'm gonna use cumin, I'm gonna use oregano. I'm gonna use vegetable stock. I'm gonna use some smoked paprika. I'm gonna use some of this minced chili and garlic paste. Um, I'm gonna use uh, one or two, probably two packets of salzone, and then I'm gonna use curry powder. So most of these are um, herbs and don't have a bunch of salt in them, other than the salzone, which has a decent amount of salt in it. Um, but everything else is really good healthy options and it's going to give this a lot of flavor um so i'm going to go ahead and season this and then i'll show you guys when i put it on the stove so i actually want you guys to see how much of this seasoning i'm going to use so here's the chili powder and i'm going to use i use a lot of seasoning when i make my beans because when they're boiling they tend to get kind of watered down from steam and everything else um this is the cumin i'm using a healthy amount of cumin too because i love the flavor of cumin i also use a lot of oregano leaves and i use dried oregano in like everything that i cook because it has an amazing taste um, this is smoked paprika, not regular paprika, so it has a really nice flavor to it. So a healthy amount of that. And then this minced chili paste, I'm going to use a, just probably a few teaspoons of it because it's actually very spicy. So I don't want to overspice my food, um, but I want it to have that flavor to it. Um, ooh, my curry powder's not even open yet. <laughs> but anyway, this is two cups of uh, vegetable stock. Pour this in over this, kind of spread out my seasoning some. Okay, so my curry powder, I'm gonna add a lot of curry powder to this because I am a huge curry lover. As you can see by how much um, cumin and everything I added, I usually would add turmeric to this too, but I'm not going to. And this thing is new and it's like not trying to come out for me. <laughs> Hold on, let me take the top off. Okay. I'm going to use a good amount of curry in this. I'm going to add two cups of water. Okay. And now I'm going to add in two packets of salzone. mix this up and I'm gonna put this on the stove on medium heat and let these cook for about an hour while I study that's it for now okay guys so my beans are cooked and um, they're actually cool right now because I had to shut it off. I had an errand to run and I'm adding another cup of water. Ignore the color of it. I have the spoon in here. Um, so I'm going to add another cup of water. And here I have minced mushrooms, minced red red uh, peppers and some spinach not a whole lot I'm going to add all of those in here one second I'm gonna try and do this with one hand <laughs> okay I just added like a tablespoon of salt to this I'm gonna mix this all up and I'm gonna let it cook for like another 30 minutes and serve it over rice. If I had some hummus, I would serve it with rice and hummus, but we just finished the hummus. But yeah, it's not a lot of vegetables, but I always like to add vegetables in. Um, 
it just kind of brightens up the texture and uh, the flavor, of course, because vegetables are amazing. So there you go. I will be sure to post a picture of the finished result, but that is how I make my beans.